Wonder why packing statistics are so important? Let's talk a little more about it. Hey Brainiacs, it's Thursday and time for another episode of Inside the Beaker. Today we're going to talk to you about what a packing statistic or pack stat is. So every new lot of chemical that we receive, which also has an existing capsule formulation, our quality control department sends a retain to the formulation development lab so that we can perform a pack stat for you. So why is it important to have a pack stat? You need to know the weight of a particular chemical and how much volume it takes up in the capsule so that you can calculate the percentage of filler that is needed in that formulation. If the calculations are not done correctly, it may affect the potency of your capsule. So let's go inside the beaker and find out more. Look here, for example, this capsule formulation containing magnesium glycinate. This formula is calculated for a size zero capsule. For PCCA magnesium glycinate, lot number C168090, 622 milligrams will fit in a size zero capsule. This is the pack stat. Using this number, we can calculate the rest of the formulation. In this particular formula displayed, the magnesium glycinate was actually used as our filler. For demonstration purposes, I have magnesium glycinate here. You will be, we will be using this to determine the pack stat for a size one capsule. There are some other calculations to convert to additional capsule sizes. First, place a clean piece of whey paper on the balance. Place an empty size one capsule on the balance and tear the balance. Now, open the capsule. You will use the bottom portion of the capsule to tamp the powder into the capsule. Empty some of the chemical onto a clean piece of whey paper in the hood. Using the bottom portion of the capsule, begin tapping on top of the powder so that the powder is getting pushed inside the capsule. You will keep doing this until you feel that the powder is pretty tight and not much more can be added. You can use a twisting motion towards the end of the process as shown here. Make sure to not overpack to where the capsule is bulging and don't force the powder super tight. Now that the capsule is filled, replace the top portion of the capsule and place on the balance. Record the weight. To verify consistency of technique, repeat the process three times. Calculate the average of the three to get your final pack stat. Did you know we have developed a cool online capsule calculator tool to assist in calculating capsule formulations when using a PCCA chemical? You can check it out on the members only website. If you have any questions about calculating capsule packing statistics, feel free to call our pharmacy consulting department and we'll see you again next month on Inside the Beaker.